My name is Carol Charno. I'm the president and CEO of Boston Children's Museum, which is an institution over 100 years old, of course, a hands-on children's museum. And uh, we've been very involved with uh, mitigating COVID transmission in the museum during this past 12 months. We first closed the museum in response to the pandemic on March 13th, 2020. Uh, we then subsequently opened in July of 2020 and then closed again in mid-December. And we're about to open on May 1st. During that time, we've gone up and down on a roller coaster uh, related to all the matters uh, of COVID in the museum. Um, we have developed a 50 page reopening manual, which is updated regularly. And this pertains to the use of masks in the museum, cleaning procedures, social distancing, etc. And uh, we have modified many exhibits um, in order to make them more uh, safe for visitors. Um, of course, this process has changed and developed along the way over the last year. And we're happy to say that as we open on May 1st, uh, we have been able to introduce some further modifications and lessening of some restrictions based on CDC and state recommendations. It has been a very tough time for staff and we have tried to find ways to support them to be as transparent as possible, to listen to their fears and anxieties and make as many adjustments as we have been able to in order to accommodate those fears and anxieties. And it has been um, a labor of love, but also very, very challenging. As we reopen on May 1st, we have uh, edited and adjusted our reopening manual to accommodate the slight loosening of restrictions in Massachusetts for uh, institutions like ourselves. We are still going to uphold the mask wearing for children to and over, the social distancing of the six feet of distance, time ticketing for sections uh, of the day in which we can then clean in between, um, additional cleaning, electrostatic cleaning, and so forth. We have opened some additional exhibits that were not open in our first period of, uh, during the pandemic based on CDC and state guidelines. I think going forward, this experience will permanently change us. I think our we have a much more heightened awareness of how illnesses can be transmitted in the museum. This includes other contagious illnesses such as colds and flu. I think it's helped us understand more specifically how to clean so that germs aren't transmitted on surfaces. I think it's helped us understand uh, how to communicate with staff about staying home when they are unwell. And um, I think as a society, we will learn going forward over the next year how COVID will have had a kind of permanent impact on the way that we behave, not only in museums and other public spaces, but in our personal lives. The Realm project has been really helpful to us, particularly as it relates to the testing they've done on various materials and the practices uh, around fomite. So it has been a really great uh, boon to our field and to my museum in particular. Inside the museum, we have referred to the toolkit and to the um, literature reviews and so forth to make some of the more specific decisions to museums. And I think it's been extremely helpful because of course, although there's a lot of information that comes out from the state, the city and the CDC, uh, it's not pertinent specifically to museums. I think that what we have learned is that we're more resilient than we thought we could be. Um, I think I've also learned about the importance of self-care for leaders and certainly also for staff members. And I've learned a little bit more about how to encourage people to take those steps. I do think it's quite remarkable how resilient our sector is. I think we will see that our industry is invaluable to society as a whole. 
and that we have a, a very important niche to fill and that we are resilient and we have staying power and we are also flexible and nimble and we can respond to the needs of society. So I think we can all have confidence in our abilities to crisis manage and to find a way, a creative way out of almost any situation. <laughs>